Hey, how's it going? We've got another fun off the cuff installment coming to you. See the logo above. And this time I'm going to put on a very dear uh, piece of clothing, store given to me by my late father. Okay, so we're going to play a little guessing game. We're going to try to decide what day it is that I'm talking about. Okay, this day was founded by Sonora Smart Dodd back in the early 1900s. She felt that both this type of person as well as the other should be honored in the same way. And it wasn't until uh, 1910 that the state of Washington celebrated it on June 19th. No, that's not the date we're after, just to be clear. And then it was in 1916 that President Woodrow Wilson honored it by sending a telegraph from Washington, D.C. to the state of Washington to unfurl the United States flag. And then in 1924, President Calvin Coolidge pressed hard on the state governments to honor the state as well. Uh, what was interesting is, is it didn't meet with the same enthusiasm throughout the United States as the other uh, equivalent date did, if you will. Um, and so what happened was, is people, men predominantly, pushed back on it and didn't like it so much because they felt like it was becoming commercialized. And keep in mind, in the early 1900s, men were predominantly the breadwinners in America, and they felt like this was a gimmick to buy gifts for them that they were then paying for. So an interesting take on that. Of course, we flash forward to 1929, we have the Great Depression in the United States and um, the re retailers around the country, keep in mind long before the internet, decided to redouble their efforts and make this a commercialized opportunity for them to sell more goods, which in turn upset the men of the day even more, as you can imagine, during a period of a, a Great Depression. But you flash forward 1941, you've got the World War II, and it became an interesting dynamic in that it was a way to honor men that had gone off to serve uh, in the war in combat. And it became a much more um, ritualized, symbolic gesture in that way. But it wasn't for another 30 years until 1972 that President Richard M. Nixon proclaimed it a national holiday on the third Sunday in June. That's probably going to be your biggest clue. And today, it raises about $1 billion in annual sales for retailers around the United States, and I guess I would argue around the world. So, take a guess. Wait for it. Tick tock, tick tock. Father's Day. That's it. You probably guessed it. But if not, it's Father's Day, and it's on the third Sunday in June of every year in the United States of America. This is an off-the-cuff segment, but our signature brand is Moxie Talk with Kurt Jacobs. If you'd like to keep up with us, we'd love to have you be part of our community. Just type in Moxie Talk, M-O-X-I-E-T-A-L-K dot com, and we're on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Medium dot com, and on YouTube, we'd love for you to subscribe and hit the bell to sign up for our notifications. And this little dude right here was a fedora that uh, was given to me by my father, my late father, who I really, really adored. And he died about three and a half years ago from this taping. So with that, I bid you do have a great Father's Day, wherever this might find you. 